Hi, today we are going to learn how to create single and multiple invitation codes with the activation and expiration dates of user accounts. CM Restrict User Account allows you to automatically block or delete user accounts on your site after some period of time. CM Registration allows your users to log in and register to your site via a beautiful pop-ups. In this example use case video, we will consider in details the integration between the plugins. The plugin CM Registration allows creating invitation codes that can be sent to certain users and required for registration. Using invitation codes, you can achieve the following. Limit and control the amount of registrants. Manage registration campaigns to your pre-launched site. Define specific roles to be assigned to users when using a specific invitation code. Define a membership level once using a specific invitation code. Require or not require email verification for specific invitation codes and integration with CM Restrict User Account Access allows defining the activation and expiration dates of user accounts. To create a single invitation code, navigate to CM Registration Pro – Invitation Codes. Then click Add Invitation Code at the top of the page. Here you can edit Title – Add the name of the code. This name is for internal use only. Code – You can type a code yourself, for instance, Welcome. The plugin is flexible and accepts virtually any value. You can use as many characters as you would like. Alternatively, click the button Generate New to instantly generate a randomized 12 characters code. Expiration date. Add the code expiration date. After this date, the invitation code cannot be used. Users limit. The number of times this invitation code can be used. Require email verification. Choose whether to require email verification or not or follow global plugin settings. Require to use the following email. This feature lets you restrict the usage of a specific invitation code to a specific user, so user cannot send the invitation code to someone else. If an email address is set, the plugin will send an email with the invitation code to the user as soon as it is created. User role. Admin can choose which WordPress role will be set for a user that registered with the specific invitation code. Custom redirection URL after login for users that used this code. Put here a URL where the user will be redirected after he logins to the site. A few next options are the core of the plugin's integration. Choose date type to activate user access after. This option defines the activation date of a user account. Here you can choose between. None – disable the activation date. It means the user account will be activated after registration. Absolute – the account will be activated on the date and time that you define in the field below. Relative – the account will be activated after a certain amount of time after registration date. Choose date type to restrict user access after. This option defines the expiration date of a user account. Here you can choose between. None. Disable the expiration date. It means the user account will not be restricted after some period of time. Absolute. The account will be restricted on the date and time that you define in the field below. Relative. The account will be restricted after a certain amount of time after registration date. Delete user after expiration. This option appears when you choose absolute or relative type of expiration. Enable it to delete the user account after expiration. If enabled, you can choose what to do with the content of deleted user. Delete all content, attribute all content to the specific user, or use default global setting. When you've finished configuring the invitation code, click the button Publish. Don't forget to enable requiring the invitation code while registration. To enable it, navigate to CM Registration Pro – Settings. Registration tab. Find the option Ask for invitation code and choose Require. Now let's register a new user and see the result. The user registers his account. When the user tries to log in, his account is not activated yet due to the date we defined. Now let's see the information in his user profile. Navigate to Users – All Users. Here you can see the date restrictions in the column Restrict Date. Now hover on the needed user and click Edit. 
Scroll down to the section CM Restrict User Account Access. Here you can see that all settings we defined while creating the invitation code were applied to the user who registered using provided code. Now let's create invitation codes in bulk. Have a note that creating invitation codes in bulk requires the add-on CM Registration Bulk Invitation to be installed and activated on your site. There are a few ways to create invitation codes in bulk, but all these methods are very similar to the creating single invitation code, so we will consider only the settings that are different. Navigate to CM Registration Pro – Bulk Invitations. There you can see the table with all bulk invitations and two buttons above the table. Create invitation codes and invite users by email. Let's consider both of these methods. Click on the button Create Invitation Codes. The most part of settings are the same as for the creating single code. A few new options are Upload CSV file with invitation codes. You can upload the CSV file with your own invitation codes prepared in advance. If you don't want to upload the codes from CSV file, you can create a sequence of randomly generated invitation codes with the following options. Number of invitation codes to create. Define here the amount of invitation codes that you want to create. Use serial invitations with prefix. Check this box if you want these codes to have a prefix. Invitations prefix. Write the prefix that the invitation codes will have, in case if you enabled previous option. The rest of the options are the same as for creating single invitation code. When you finished configuring the codes, click the button Create Invitation Codes. After clicking on it, you will see the list of created codes, which you can view or download using the buttons Show Codes and Download CSV. You can also manage these codes in the list of created sequences of codes. Another way for creating invitation codes in bulk is to create them by using the CSV file with the list of emails. There will be generated a random code for each email address in the list. Click the button Invite users by email. The options that are different from creating single invitation code are Upload CSV file with emails. Upload here the CSV file with the list of emails. Each email address must be on a separate line in the CSV file. Do not send emails, just create invitation codes for those emails without sending notifications. Check this box if you don't want to send email with the invitation code to the relevant email address. If it's not checked, there will be available a form for editing email template below. Require to use the same email during the registration. If checked, the generated code can be used for registration only by using the relevant email address. Otherwise, this code can be used with any other email address. You can also edit the subject and body of the email template that will be sent to users. This email will contain an invitation code. The body of email accepts the following shortcodes. Blog name, site URL and invitation code. This shortcode must be in the email. The rest of the options are the same as for creating single invitation code. When you finish configuring the codes, click the button Create Bulk Invitation. After clicking on it, you will see the list of created codes. In both cases of creating bulk invitation codes, the registered users will be restricted according to defined settings the same as in the method with single invitation code. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to create single and multiple invitation codes with the dates of activation and expiration of user accounts. Thanks for watching the video.